Hi everyone, welcome back to the garage for my level 3 review of my WE888C. About 8 months ago I bought this um, and since then I've done two other reviews, one after when I first bought it and the other about a month later. Um, now that I have owned it for about 8 months I have had a chance to give it a good run, uh, it's time to go back and see what I think about it now after this amount of time. So here we go, this is my level 3 review of my WE888C. I'm able to get quite consistent and then really bring the side up and yeah. knowing where roughly where it's going to be. Oh, yeah, it's up the side of the so it's going to be my heart. Just just Moving gut. So I've had this now for around about eight months. Um, I've run it through a New Zealand winter, uh, through the New Zealand summer, and so far I really enjoy this machine. Um, it's been good, relatively reliable, um, no major misfires, no breakdowns, nothing like that. A um, few minor issues, uh, the performance does vary quite a bit from winter to summer. Our winters get down around 12 degrees. Um, ambient temperature in the air here in Auckland and at that point it fires at a nice sort of 360-370 FPS um, but as we push through to summer we're getting up to sort of 22 to 24 degree ambient days and you will be firing a bit hot closing in on 400 um, which is a bit of a problem here that's but usually what you can do is you just run your mags they'll cool down a bit the, the ambient temperature of the magazine will be a bit lower, a bit more, a bit more usable. Um, so I've been able to avoid any problems where I haven't been able to field the gun. Um, I like the look, I like the feel, I like the size. Um, being gas blowback, I love the action. Um, definitely different to an AEG. You know, you get all the recall, uh, the changing the mags quite often um, because they are low capacity. Um, basically, really, really good gun. I've had a lot of fun with it. Um, it's a bit heavy um, and the magazines are quite heavy so when you're carrying three to four of those strapped around your person that is a bit of an issue um, but I think it's all part of the experience and I've really enjoyed it. So quickly recapping through the issues I've come across so far. Um, eight months, reasonable amount of play, probably a couple of thousand BBs at least have been put through it. Uh, recapping the old ones. Uh, with stock fully closed in, the bolt does not lock back. You cannot make a lock back, it will not. Um, easily resolve, pull your stock out, locks up. Uh, the sling mount on the back is a bit small for this particular uh, mounting system. It's a little clip. Um, bit of a pain in my case. Makes hassle. Uh, new problems I've discovered. Cycling issues. Um, when firing fast, when I first had it, if I fired quickly, um, multiple bursts of say three or four rounds, um, it might not cycle fully. Uh, that's become a bit more prominent, um, and I've had plenty of situations now where if you're trying to do a lot of rapid fire, um, you will find, or well, I've found that this particular one does not fully cycle. In many cases it's cycling far enough to load the next round but you're not getting the full bolt action which means of course it won't lock back. Um, always solved it by simply backing off the trigger, taking a second, slowing down a bit. Um, not related to the gun, um, the magazines, I've started to discover a couple of them are failing to activate the lockback mechanism so when the magazine is empty it does not lock back the bolt. Uh, that's a bit of a pain. Um, and yeah loading them, a couple of the magazines were really tight, a tight fit, I had to grind one slightly to make it fit properly um, but after grinding it it goes in and out well, I'm able to lock it in, pull it out, it's fine. Um, getting the magazines to lock in, it's a bit of an art to it, sometimes they don't go in all the way, that's a bit of a pain. Um, other problems I've discovered there is a ring here on the back of the buffer tube which I'm constantly having to tighten. Um, but really, oh, other than that, um, no significant issues. As I said previously, no breakdowns. 
uh, nothing that stopped me working um, just little niggly things are a bit of a pain and really I think I need to learn to pull the gun apart fully and work out what's causing the issues. So actual performance, uh, as I mentioned, um, in the cold in the winter here in Auckland we get down to around 12 degrees. I do find um, that it will chrono a, a nice um, CQB friendly 360 to 370 FPS. Uh, in our Auckland summers we were getting up around 25 degrees ambient air temperature and with the magazines at that temperature normally sort of 390 would be about where I think it would sit um, that's typically what I would chrono at um, but if they've been sitting in the car uh, and they're up a bit higher 28 to 30 degrees because I'm sitting in the car they'll easily chrono over 400 um, I haven't managed to chrono this during the summer and I'm now actually heading into winter again so we're down around 15 degrees. I will put a chrono up on screen uh, as I chrono this thing and give you some numbers but they will be an ambient temperature of probably about 15 degrees um, so that's more of our winter. Um, I haven't fielded this gun in the last three to four months um, preferring to go back to my um, AEG just I've just been going back to enjoying that a bit as well. Um, I am looking forward to using this again. With winter now here, I find it, it chronos even, you know, it chronos well and is CQB friendly, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, other general things I did, I have taken off the front and rear sights, um, opting instead to use my 552 style EOTech clone. Uh, that's been really good. I didn't use the front and rears at all. Still running the same sling, and generally, yeah, I just front plan the run as is. Um, break it apart, maybe give it an oil again. I do that regularly. Otherwise, yeah, good gun. Really enjoyed it. Um, still enjoying it. Still running well. I hopefully will get a chance to figure out why um, it's not fully cycling. Um, cycled beautifully when it was brand new. Obviously, with a bit of use, it's had a bit of a problem. Otherwise. I'm happy. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed my level three. Uh, if you haven't seen the others, do check out the level one and two. Some of this will make more sense if you check them out. Um, and keep an eye out. Hopefully I will get around to doing a, a bit of a breakdown, functional um, review of this, pulling it apart, showing chrono results. I have a magazine currently sitting in the freezer and one in the fridge. So that'll be you know, minus 15 and 7 degrees uh, to show you the performance there and uh, more ambient temperatures. Um, yeah, keep an eye up. Have fun.